<sighs> How you feeling? Complete. All right. Complete? <laughs> That's not the way I would put it, but uh, sure. Yeah. I'm feeling whole again. I'm feeling one with the with the with the with the with the rivers and the mountains and the trees. <sighs> yeah. So, chat, how you feeling? Talk to me, chat. What's been going on in your world? Yeah. What is, you guys ask us questions all the time. Chat, what are you doing for the ho fucking holidays? Yeah. That? Answer us, bitch. All right, all right. I wouldn't come at him like that. But... <laughs> what does that mean? Copa. Kopeka. What the fuck is Kopek Kick? Kopek I'm going to get going, so I will see you all later. And Wolf, I covered the fuck, Mary, the fuck, Mary, kill question for Awkward, so yeah, you did. Okay, then. That means that I don't have to do it. <laughs> Probably. Uh, Let me look in the... Why do I keep going? Why am I in the lewd... Well, I know why I'm in the lewd lounge. But uh, what's in the fucking Awkward Jazz thing? Let's see, watch oh, gonna did. be He's visiting me did. for two weeks starting on the twentieth. Oh, that's adorable. That'll be a fun. No. Mm-hmm. Making kissy faces. Um what else we got? God damn it, Riley, you with your freaking cat in the hat. <laughs> it's a legitimately funny film. Fuck you. <laughs> Riley, you have a problem. Yeah, you I said that either. I have a problem. Holy fuck. At least when I say that I like Battlefield Earth, I say it ironically. <laughs> it's just a movie to make fun of a lot. Hey, Will and Joey agree with me. Oh, wow. Uh, it looks like I all three of you Joey need to... I, I could see that all three of you would want to sit in the corner. Nah, nah, we'll so destroy So my cousins are getting art prints. All right, well, that's good. I'm going to gift... I'm going. I'm doing a gift exchange for my family. It's a 50-buck limit, though, and I have my granddaughter, so also Steven Universe Future has me like, ah. Yeah, it's emotional. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Pink Diamond. Here we <laughs> are in the future, and it's... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Riley. Riley. <laughs> I hear that, shit, that. Riley. <laughs> I, I hear that tone a lot. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it, Riley. God damn it, Riley. That's can good. we get a hashtag God damn it, Riley going in the chat? <laughs> I can just imagine him laughing his ass off. I would laugh, but I'm still healing, so it would hurt. <laughs> good. Pain's, a, pain's your friend. No, I want to be able Ice to eat solid foods popsicles. again. That'll happen within time. Seriously, though, God damn it, Riley. <laughs> Thank you, Spinel. <laughs> you know, in my opinion, Spinel, whenever I think Spinel, what I think happened was Pinky, Cuphead, and Bandy all got together one night and Cuphead, Do not continue this sentence. <laughs> Cuphead pulled out that jug of triple X liquor that he has. Oh no! And after I don't like a night that they don't remember, <laughs> no. Pinky got pregnant. Bendy bailed, bailed out, being afraid. So Cuphead had to be the dad. No, oh, no. And that's why Spinel has all of these 1920 show tunes because Cuphead was the dad, but she's got Bendy's genes, so that's why she's all springy and everything. Why do you have to defile the best character in the whole show like this? I don't think why that's defiling. I'm trying to read the chat. <laughs> that should be a thing now. Why can't I read? That See, that should be, be a thing, thing now. Anytime another horrible thing Pink Diamond has done comes up, the fans should just collectively go, Thanks, Pink Diamond! <laughs> I mean... Look at this graph! <laughs> <laughs> Look at this graph! <laughs> 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 
spinoff. For the love of God, don't make Thanks Pink Diamond a drinking game. No! Oh God! Mm. Every time, every time you find out something, uh, what Pink Diamond has done horribly, take a shot. Yeah, you're gonna be fucking dead. You guys want to hear what I've been listening to for the past hour? Oh God, what? Okay, hold on. Oh. Okay, then. Was that playing when the fusion of the two pearls were just laying seductively on the floor? (laughs) (laughs) No. Wait, I'm not not to the best part yet. It's Carl Weezer if he was singing Redbone. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) Okay, then. I miss Jimmy Neutron. I do too. Yeah, that was a that was an okay show. It sucks it never got its sec it's like last season. Yeah. Sad. Like I had legitimately good humor in that series too. It did. Chat, donate to Golden if the absence of Jimmy Neutron makes you cry. Wait, what? Nothing. Don't worry about it. D- Chat, you heard me. Fucking hell. I'm going to have pizza in a minute. Where the hell is... I have pizza in the refrigerator, but I don't want to... My oven is broken. I can't do anything. Damn it. Unless... Maybe I can put it in the microwave, but you don't... I'd rather put it in the oven. Fucker, I can't even eat solid foods right now. (laughs) This is making making you mad, Riley, this wrestling (laughs) Jimmy's. I've only been able to eat, like, applesauce and shit for the past few days. (laughs) Have you at least upgraded to chicken noodle soup? No, like the the most I've done is like noodles with butter and donuts, honestly. Donuts? When I got my wisdom teeth taken out, it took me about a week to upgrade to chow mein. Uh, I want to be able to eat solid foods again. How I, long do you have until you can? Like a week. Oh, shit. Or more. Up. You know, the pizza has stuffed crust. Give me some of that shit. Okay, sure. I, I, I I have to ask about this. Uh, Riley, when you got your wisdom teeth pulled out, did it hurt like hell? Considering I was I asked to be put under, no. It hurt afterwards after the Novocaine and the laughing gas wore off, but I wasn't huh. awake for that because there was no way in hell I would be awake for uh, two hours as they pulled one tooth out. Well, is there anyone with a camera to listen to the stuff spouting out of your mouth? Thankfully, no. Oh, that's that's unfortunate. Like, I went in, they gave me laughing gas, and then they shot something in my arm, and I was out. Yeah, okay, oh, fuck. Because I ask about that, because when I had my experience of having my wisdom teeth removed a few years ago, was that a cold one cracked open? Morty. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> First of all, I... that didn't even sound like a cold one cracked. That sounds like that sounded like somebody a gun getting hit being with cocked. The... That sounded like somebody getting hit with the belt like really hard. And then all I heard was Morty. <laughs> <What the> <laughs> but no, uh, to, to to back check to when I had my wisdom teeth removed, um, I did not feel any pain at all. Like obviously, I was injecting, you know, those uh, those pain injectors that's supposed to like numb your mouth and shit. Nova King? Yeah, Nova King. Juice <laughs> Frata! No, Nova Kane. You know, like the, uh, the the Green Day song? Either way, it didn't hurt after my teeth were pulled out. And later that day, when, like, I had to keep, like, cloths in, like, the corners of my mouth, I did not feel anything. I just kept it in there for a couple of days, and I was just, you know... uh, eating and just consuming anything cautiously and like the third day my brother comes in and he's from the medical field and he's like why don't you have yourself some eggs which is like a solid food and he's like you're fine like my process went through fast in contrast to like Steorel having to wait like one week before he can eat chow mein well let's see I got my one of my wisdom teeth removed like a few years back, and they only took, like... <laughs> now I just heard a cold one. Who was that? There it is. That was me, finally, for the first time in a million years. <laughs> I had one removed a few years back, and they just, like, gave me Novocaine and yanked it out from my top right, um... Top right of my mouth. And that wasn't too bad, honestly. I 
it, that wasn't bad at all. But this time they had to get it from my bottom of my jaw, and that's like that they have to go into the bone a bit with that, so it makes it even more sore. So, ugh. Oh, all right, well. But at least now I don't have to worry about getting him out anymore. I literally was crying yeah. in excruciating pain. Oh, wow. Retro Gamer Kevin had it pretty bad. Oh, after the Novocaine and the drugs wore off on, on Thursday, then I was feeling pain. I was like, give me something. I, I, I ate, like, what was it, Advil and ibuprofen to get rid of it, the pain. Now it's just really sore. Motherfuckers asking for, like, Vicodin <laughs> to get rid of their jaw pain. Oh, no, no. I stay away from, from opioids and pain meds like that. <laughs> I think I had when I got my wisdom teeth taken out I had all four of them taken out and the pain didn't hurt me that bad I don't remember being in excruciating pain well here's the thing I had one taken out uh, a few years ago and then I had the other four taken out a few days ago mm -hmm. that's right I had five wisdom teeth holy shit yeah, it apparently it's, it sometimes happens. My dad says that's where all my wisdom went. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure he meant that humorously. Oh, I know. I know. Uh, but I had to feel numb for a few hours. Crawling in I couldn't my feel skin. my bottom lip for like four or five hours after I got back from the dentist. Nah. I yes, guess, Spinel, I... we did move from Lion King to fucking wisdom teeth removals. Dude, do you guys ever go to the dentist and they have to stick the needle in your gums and then after oh. they do what they're doing, you yes. just like you, the right side of your face is all numb, so you just start yep. chewing your fucking lips. Is the most yeah? I, I had that yes. every time I went to the dentist, and Season the Wicked every had time. it pretty bad. My dentist didn't even knock me out. They numbed me. But I felt every single thing they were doing since I was fully conscious. When they took the chisels at the bottom ones. Oh! Yeah, the oh, bottom ones are the ones. Like no, okay. Whenever I went to a dentist appointment for anything, yeah, they would give you, you know, those, um, those, those, no, needles. those nummy needles. Yeah. And Nobody even... Can. Yeah, the Nova Kings. No matter what, you're still gonna feel the, like when they have to like drill out cavities and shit or do root yeah. canals, you could still feel the goddamn blade grinding into your teeth and it hurts like shit. Yeah, it does. For like yeah. a solid ten to twenty seconds, I'm like, kill me, kill me, while my hands are <laughs> gripping the handles. I'm like, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> It is not pleasant at all. It's like, ah. Oh. I hate going to the dentist. I really Dude, And this is why people don't like going to dentists at all. It hurts like a motherfucker. I just, I, and I don't like having all these, like, little things going and, like, checking all my teeth and, like, going around my mouth. It's just like, ugh. Yeah, don't come around my mouth with sharp objects, please. That's not very enticing at all. The like thing that I just can't stand is when they have to drill. It hurts like shit. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. That's the, like, I don't mind if they're, like, speculating and seeing what there is, but if it comes to, like, just the sound of is very traumatizing. Like, even if it's just a normal drill and not a toot drill, I still, like, get, like, tingles of, like, fear. Like, ugh. And you feel the rattling against your teeth. Oh. You feel going in there. Yeah, no, it's just, oh, fuck. I haven't been to the dentist in three years because of that. Oh, that experience didn't help my fear of the dentist whatsoever. Fucking ever. Oh, no, I don't blame you, Season. God damn. Don't know how it compares to wisdom teeth removal, but when I had a stomach flu, all of that I could feel in my stomach was agonizing. <laughs> Welcome to having a stomach flu. That's part of how you, like, how it's uh, so unpleasant. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. I had a stomach flu when I was, like, a little kid, and they had to put a bucket next to my bed. Because I just wouldn't stop throwing up. So all I could do was just lie down and just throw up off the side of my bed. Oh, fuck. For like, for like two days straight. It was really bad. Let oh. me tell you about the time I had chicken pox for the second time. Oh, boy. And I, like, literally, I could not eat because I was afraid of, like, choking or throwing up when I ate. And I literally slept through an entire day and be like, is today Wednesday? Oh, no, honey, it's Thursday. I'm like, what? 
<laughs> then the second week, I finally developed the spots, and it wasn't as bad. But the first week was god awful. Yikes. Yeah. <sighs> no, I remember. Uh, what I also remember is just you know when it comes to throwing up. Oh boy. Um, I mean, there have been many occasions where I've experienced that kind of thing when I was a kid, and most of the time you can kind of feel it coming when you feel the tense underneath your chin. Oh God, it's happening. It's going to come. You better be fucking ready. Um, there have been times when they were so unexpected. Like there was once, like I wasn't like I was riding in the car with dad and maybe it was just something I ate, like maybe rice or something or maybe chicken, something that didn't sit well in my stomach. And after a while, I'm dra- like, I'm in dad, uh, in dad's car and we're just driving along. I'm like, uh, dad, I'm not feeling good. I don't know what it is. <laughs> just right out of nowhere. I fucking puke all over his fucking transition and dashboard in the center. He's like, God damn it. It got all- <laughs> oh. It was like, I didn't expect it. And that's a moment that my brother and I always talk about. And dad hears about it. And he finds it funny in hindsight. But still, it's like, wouldn't you at least expect it? Just blah. It just bursts out. Just puke. I still remember when I got stung by a jellyfish when I was six. Ugh. How the I hell was, did this happen? I was at, uh, I think it was visiting Martha's Vineyard with my dad, and we were with some family friends and stuff, and we were on the beach, and they stung my dad, and they also stung me. I was screaming and crying for hours afterwards. Yeah, fucking jellyfish stings are brutal, man. Oh, yeah, they are. Not fun at all. Uh, one more story before we go away, or whatever happens. Uh, one time I got the mumps. Oh right? no! <laughs> oh. One time I got the mumps, but the way I found out I had the mumps is funny to me in hindsight because, like, I never look in my mirror. I have this huge mirror in my room that I never look in because I, I don't, I don't know. I just don't like looking at myself or whatever. So, like, one time I looked in the mirror, and the side of my face looked like a fucking pumpkin. And I was like, well, I should probably go to the doctor. And I went to the doctor and it was like, yeah, you got mumps. Oh. You're going to have to stay home. <laughs> You're going to have to stay home and not talk and not, like not be around anybody. I was like, well, fuck. <laughs> well, all right. Uh, I think it's time we wrap it up. <laughs> yeah, probably. Talking about yeah. you know, experiences of being sick. Oh, boy. Um. Yeah. I hope you guys have a good Christmas. Um, We'll see you again this Monday when I talk about the second uh, Stephen Bomb, as well as a few other things to, you know, talk about and get off my chest. If anybody else wants to anticipate, um, that is according to, you know, those who are watching on Twitch. Um, Whoever's watching on YouTube, you're probably going to see the very day. Uh, Regardless, um, have a good Christmas. Stay safe. Uh, stay warm, drink some nice hot cocoa, and happy 2020 without the copocalypse. Mm.